the simplest thing about it is, is that the system, whatever we want to call it, and the scenarios in it, it's so simple that most people, as you and me, done some seminars and worked with people in class, they don't have to memorize too many things. The most important thing, Spice, as you know, is the, the element of fear. Most of us fear confrontation. Right. Most of us fear we don't want to get hurt. But in the process of doing that, we also fear that we might get hurt, so we don't want to hurt the other person. Right. We have that human quality about us, oh, I don't want to hurt him. The fear of the law, is he going to sue me? That too. And I think that what... Even a modern America, right. so she everybody's worried. Right, Sheon Jacob has uh, taught me that it's better to be judged by 12 than carried out by six. Absolutely. So, Unless you're overweight and they have to carry you well, with eight people. <laughs> but that's the truth. No matter what they teach in a lot of classes and not the law in your country and not the law in your state and stuff like that, I really believe that in the end of the day, what you can explain in court or hire a good lawyer to explain in court, why you defended your life or why you came out of apprehension, you made it home and the other guy made it to the morgue or to the hospital, and the end of the day, he's a coward. He turned around and sued you, and he's the one that attacked you first. There is laws and ridiculous ones. If the guy comes in your house, you better pull him through the window, bring him in, and then shoot him. Because if you shoot him while he's trying to get through your window, you might be still sued for it. But the point is, I'd rather wait for that court day right. than having myself dead and my kids don't have a father no more, or having myself injured to a point that now my family has to take the rest of their life to take care of me. And then the bad guy just gets away with two, three years, and he's laughing all the way to jail because he likes exactly. it. He came from there, free meal, and he's going to go back then and come back again and hurt somebody and, else. And then they let him out, uh, repeat offenders for good behavior. So this is the most important thing about I Fight For My Life, is learning um, all the different skills and tools of being aware, preventing, being prepared, and we're going to start giving techniques on what Sheon Jacob was talking about. And ultimately, the most important thing is to go home and be with your family and loved ones. That's right.